Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you how to add images and icons to your video using shortcut, like this. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Let's suppose I want to add this picture to the following video. Let's do that. Drag the video into shortcut and prepare it for editing. On the second step, add the second video track as shown. Before importing the picture or icon, let's decide on which part of the video the picture should appear. In this particular video, it should appear when I am clapping in the first time. Let's make the timeline a bit bigger. That means we need to make a sign to catch that moment. For this purpose, let's just cut the video. Now let's import the icon or picture into shortcut. Drag it to the second video track. Now let's fix the moment the picture must disappear. Obviously it is the moment I was clapping for the second time. Fix that moment by cutting the video. Afterwards, drag the picture to adjust it. As we see, the picture is too big and needs to be adjusted. In order to do that, select the picture, then press filters. Then the plus sign as shown. A list of filters will appear. Choose video filters and then find size and position. Then double click on it. Now change the position of the picture as you like. If you can't see the filter as shown, it means that the nominator in your case is not placed on the picture. If you are satisfied and everything is ready, just export the video. One more thing. As you see, there is a white background around the frog. Don't worry. Now I will show you how to fix that problem too. Now let's consider these two images. As you see, the first one has no background. Everything except the frog itself is transparent. On the opposite, the second image has white background which is not wanted when you insert it in a video. As a rule, when you download a picture from internet, it has a background. I solved this problem using online editors. To do so, open your browser and then type photo editor remove background. As you see, a variety of sites appear. Some of them are free, others are not. This particular one, online photo scissors.com, is a free one. Click on it. On the next step, upload the image. The site itself has an illustration how to do the job. The essential point is that you need to paint with green the part of the image you want to keep and with red color the parts you want to remove. You need not to be precise because the program is clever and guesses your intention well enough. After getting what you want, just download the result. Now you can compare the initial image with the edited one and see the difference. Alright, I hope my video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.